If you don't bend, you will break. That's what my mother used to say to me every time she thought I was being stubborn. Which, I guess I could be at times. We all could be. But I can only speak for myself. For I was born with a strong mind and an even stronger spirit. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Were you able to achieve what I asked for? I did. It was not easy. I had to call in a lot of favors to get it. Thank you. Can I see it? Of course. But first I need you to swear that if found in your possession or your zombie friend, my name shall never pass your lips. Raise your hand and swear. I swear it. No one will ever find out about tonight, regardless of what happens. Very well. And there you have it, the stone of life. You know, I imagined something a little bit more glamorous. This just looks like an ordinary rock. I assure you, it is the stone. I have no doubt about it. Thank you again, Dante. I know you put a lot on the line to help me. You are welcome. I owe you one, my friend. One day I will need it, but not tonight. You know, it is so beautiful here by the water. The city seems so peaceful. I come here often to relax and clear my mind. I bet it can be stressful at times. Hmm. Yes. I'm sorry, I must leave. Thirst comes and I must feed. Very well, I understand. Say hello to the dead man for me. His name is Enoch, and I will. Dawn, wake up. Dawn, you okay? <sighs> I'm fine. I just really wish there was another way to call the dead. I'm sorry we don't have cell phones. If we did, I'd call you all the time. You never give up, do you? Nope. How is it that the zombie still has raging hormones? Have you ever stopped to look in the mirror? Alive or dead, you are hot. Actually, no. Not since I turned. Vampires don't cast reflections in mirrors. Oh, that's right. So what are you going to teach me today? I'll give you a life lesson later. We have more important things to discuss. Like what? Like the stone of life. What about it? Wait, you found it? Not quite. Dante acquired it for me. He sends his regards. That was nice of him. <laughs> yes, it was. And no one must know that he had a hand in helping us. I gave him my word. Understood. And here it is. The stone of life. That looks like a rock. I, that's what I said, but no. It's the stone. Can I hold it? Of course, I 
I got it for you. What's happening? I don't know. Stand back. Holy shit! What? What's wrong? Your face. It's... It's what? What happened? It's normal. You look like a regular living person. You didn't say anything about this happening. I didn't believe it could happen. You know, in my lifetime, I've seen a lot of strange things, but this is pretty incredible. How long do you think it'll last? I guess for as long as I have it in my possession. I have no idea. This is new territory for me. Hmm. Well, let's see how we can use this to our advantage in the future. I could walk around the living without calling attention to myself. My thoughts exactly. This is great. Okay, fun's over. Hand over the rock. I'll hold on to it until we actually need it. Okay. That was pretty cool if I say so myself. It really was. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Pick up our lessons next time. For now, I have some stuff I have to find out. I'll see you soon. I blame God for everything that has happened to me. For the death of my family, for the betrayal of Selena, for the loss of my soul. And so for 800 years, I terrorized his greatest love and creation, man. I slaughtered men, women, and children. Entire villages were wiped off the face of the earth. I waged war on God and I know now I was wrong. In life, death is promised. Whether it is early, late, or right on time, it will come for us all. Selena's betrayal was a choice she made, and the loss of my soul was my choice. Being an immortal, I've had an eternity to think about all of these things, and yet I'm still grateful for those mistakes and choices. For without them, I wouldn't be who I am today. Hello, Dawn. I knew I smelled a wet dog around. The last time we met, I underestimated you. I won't do that tonight. You really think you're going to make me leave New York? No. You had your chance to leave New York. I'm afraid that's no longer an option for you. And what do you gain by killing me, Kane? You are a traitor. A vampire that hunts other vampires? You're the lowest of the low. And after I kill you, I should build a coven on top of your ashes. And who will be the leader of this new coven? You? A short-tempered pansy with some serious ego problems? Yes. And as leader, I shall build one of the most powerful covens of them all. That's a nice dream, King. But... No vampire will ever follow you. That's just the way things are. Some people have it, and some people don't. And let's be honest, you don't. We shall see.
Thank you.